My name is Dennis Scarker. My wife and I own Catskill Flies in Roscoe, New York, conveniently located on Main Street. We can be reached at the web at CatskillFlies.com, also by phone at 607-498-6146. Most of the flies in this shop are tied in-house. We also provide a custom fly tying service for those who don't tie. Okay, the fly we're going to tie now is called a DS Emerger. Many years ago I noticed that the trout, although they were rising, were not eating dry flies and they weren't eating emergers and they appeared to be eating the nymphs prior to emergence. So I came up with this idea. This is a very simple fly, but this is a fly I would surely have in my fly box. So I tie this in a number of sizes from old 12 to about 18. This is a 12 hook in a vise and I'm using brown 80 thread. So I'll start the fly just behind the eye of the hook. I'm going to come down right about to the barb there and I'm going to put a trailing shuck on this. And I'm using Z-Line and I like Z-Line for a couple of reasons. One, it's got a little more sparkle and two, it's a little stiffer, so it makes excellent parachute posts and spinner wings. So this is a full strand. I don't really need a full strand. I, going with the theory that less is better, I'm going to cut this about in half. So I've got a strand about like that. I'm going to tie this down. I'm going to run it down. And I'm going to bring this just behind the barb of the hook. I like to make a little wrap underneath it, kind of let that thing hang out. And right at this point here. And again, I'm going to wax my thread. The dubbing on this, I don't think you can find it in a fly shop. It's a blend of beaver and brown fur. So it's a it's basically a grayish brown color. It's the same color I use on my Hendrix and Nims. So, we'll noodle out a little bit of dubbing. It's important that the body of this, this emerger be relatively thin. I want this to be too fat. So, just like this. I'll bring this up. Just about here. And a couple of little hairs here. Cut that off. Now for the now for the for the wing on this. This is simple gray poly yarn. Over the years, I've tried hair, CDC, and a number of other materials for the wing, but for some reason, nothing has worked as well as simple poly. This is a full strand. So on, on a number twelve, I'm going to cut about a third out. The smaller you get, obviously, the smaller you'd use on the wing. Okay. Even this up. I'm going to tie this down right in front of the, the point. Okay, here we go. Okay, right to this point right here. Now I'm going to use put the thorax on. Now the thorax should be a lot fuller. It should look like the, the insect getting ready to emerge. And also put this on a little uh, looser. You, you want a little bugginess to this so and you want it bigger. So just kind of lay it on like that. Just about like that. Kind of go back a little bit and go forward. Make sure you leave enough space here because we're going to need that down the road. And I think the road is here now. All right. I like partridge for this. I like partridge in general, but I like partridge for this. It's got a lot of modeling to it, so I'm going to pick a, a feather out. Like this. Strip a little down off the sides here. And we're about like that. 
Okay, we're at this point right here. Now, take out the center of this right here. I want to clip this out. There we go. And I don't need all of this either, so I'm going to strip all this off. What I'm looking for is just a few fibers on, on either side. All right, we're going in. Okay, this is the legs. I like to make the legs a little longer because this is going to be floating in the water. These legs are going to be kind of moving around, and, and, and that's what I'm looking for. Movement is important. Okay, come down with this. It's important to leave enough space in here. So I just go to the, the point of the hook. Okay. I'm going to pull this wing case over. And you can use your scissors. I'm using a dubbing. Yeah, I can use my scissors. Lay it out. Kind of lean it back so you get a little bulb there. A little bulge. I'm going to tie this down. Just about like that. Take four or five, six good wraps. As weird as this thing looks, it's a good fly. Tie it off here. Maybe. There we go. Okay. This is it. This pattern works very well for flies such as the Hendrickson, the Blue Wing Owl. The sulfur, and if you're a West Coast fisherman, Western fisherman, the Pelamoni done. The only thing you need to do is change the size of the fly. You don't change anything else. All the materials will remain the same. I think this is a fly that you're going to find uh, very effective in your fishing. And there we go. DS Emerger. I'm Dennis Gardner. Thanks for watching, and I hope I see you on the river.